Sanchez. I'm a proud trans Latina. Um, I'm from the Bronx, New York, born and raised, live here in Philadelphia. Currently, I am employed at Gale, which is a queer Latino social justice organization, and I'm the coordinator of their trans health information project. Growing up in the Bronx, is apartments is very small, and when you have a lot of siblings, uh, sometimes you have to share bath time. Uh, so I have some siblings that are cisgender women or girls uh, that I had to take baths with. And knowing that they had an any and I had an Audi was kind of, um, that was the, different, the difficult thing to deal with. But always knowing that I was spirit-wise a woman, a female, a girl. Conversations with my mom would be and it was kind of uncomfortable for her was like a couple of my sisters they were button and like we're like a year apart so um and i seen one of them having like swollen nipples and we're in the bath and i'm just like why does why are mine's not like that all right so i'm coming to the the understanding that mine's is out and yours is in but why am i not growing these things like why am i flat so having a conversation with my mom, like, well, what's up? Like, one year, my mom said, well, what do you want to be for Halloween? Because we were going out trick-or-treating. And um, back then, Little Kim was, like, the favorite artist, like, being in New York and and, and wanting to be her because she was, like, the baddest chick around. Um, so she agreed. You know, it was like, I think they did know. Well, I know they know because people were asking them, like, or making comments like your daughter's pretty, you know, or things like that. Um, so me saying that wasn't like a shock to her. So she agreed. We went to the thrift store. We got like this rabbit fur coat that we spray painted blue. We got a little short bob wig that we dyed blue. The next day we went trick or treat him. I was happy. I felt so comfortable. Like I don't even think people like they just probably thought I was a cl a girl dressed up like a clown for Halloween because of the makeup, the hair, the clothes. Uh, so the next day, we go to school. And my book bag is the outfit that I wore for Halloween that night before. And uh, <laughs> the counselor, well, when I got to school, I was dressed normally, like, in a blue shirt and jeans. Like, this was normal for kids in, in the school, either yellow or blue. Um, so I went to the bathroom and I changed. And I put on a coat, put on a wig, and I'm like, styling in the school and it was like a lot of people have a perception of what transgender is um and i am a transgender woman you know uh there are transgender men there are gender non-conformers there are intersex individuals um and being what they call non-clockable you know being a little teenage girl uh knowing that you can't go into the girls gym room but you're able to go into the nurses room to change Knowing that you can go in a classroom and not be called um, he or him, or referred to as she, was a privilege for me because I was able to uh, fully go to high school and enjoy high school life, you know. Some people aren't that privilege. Um, coming out, you gotta get a support system. You know, that's the first thing. Uh, for me, I was privileged to have a family. My brothers, they still made me fight. I'm going to tell you this because you have people ignorant in the neighborhood that will be like, faggot this, faggot that, and they be like, listen, if you don't fight them now, when you get home, you have to fight me. You know? And I had to do what I had to do, but to this day, my family, my brothers are supportive. Um, but that's the first thing that you can do is find a support system. Knowing that when times get rough, you can call somebody cry. When you're struggling back and forth, they'll be the one to say okay and not judge you and tell you which one but help you understand which one um, so the support system is very important find an excellent provider you know, eat healthy stay healthy smile every day and just love yourself you know uh, once you start loving yourself and you really don't care what people on the outside think